Okay, so today we're gonna walk through setting up a standard port forward on PFSense. We're using one of the latest versions, which is 2.3, but it's the same process for any of the older ones as well. First thing you're gonna wanna do is head over to your firewall tab, and we're gonna go down to the drop down box, which is for NAT, and that's gonna take us straight to the port forwarding tab. All we need to do is click on the add, and then you've got a couple of uh, options here. Disabled, which is obviously disable the rule. No RDR, which is pretty much the same thing, but works slightly differently. Uh, we don't need to go into that, all that can stay off. Interface is always left as one. And then you need to set your protocol for whatever service it is you're using. In our case, we'll leave it as TCP. If you're not sure, you can put it on TCP or UDP, um, but it's always good to uh, make sure you've got the correct one. Source is under advanced settings. You don't need to touch any of that. Destination is always the one address, that's wherever it's coming from on the outside of your network. Destination port range, um, this is where you'd add in the port that you're wanting to, to port forward. In our case, we're doing 2389, which is Microsoft's RDP. PFSense does actually have it built in, like you can see there, but just for the purposes of the video, to make sure you can see that the custom, custom box is working, we're gonna stick it back to other, and I'm gonna manually type in 3389. The redirect target IP is the IP address of the machine you're trying to redirect it to. And the redirect target port is the port that you wanted to re redirect to as well. Uh, in this case, this could be something different on your actual machine. So you could have uh, RDP listing on 3390 on the actual machine, in which case you could do that. But for the purposes of the test, we're gonna leave it as default. Give it a description so you know what it is when you're looking at it inside PFSense. NAT reflection can stay on system default, uh, but make sure the bottom one is on add associated filter rule and that will do all the work for you. Once it's done, just apply the changes and you can see the port forward is there inside the port forward tab. First, we need to just double check that the rule has been created. So if we go ahead over to firewall and rules, you should see that that's been automatically created and that was the box at the bottom of the previous screen that's done that. Now all we need to do is head over to our port checker and check your port number is correct in there and you can see that that's going through fine. So that has successfully port forwarded that port to our internal IP address and it's the same process for any port. Um, all you need to do is make sure you specify the custom port and if you've given it a custom name elsewhere.